Hey there, I'm Celia, a French freelance illustrator and full-time designer. I'm creating videos about my art experimentations and many things around art. Welcome in this new art vlog. Quick reminder about what happened last time we did a studio vlog together. Usually I was doing weekly studio vlogs, but as I'm not a full-time artist, sometimes I didn't had enough to film and it was not really interesting for you, so I decided to switch from a weekly format to a seasonal one. It's not perfect and I wasn't regular about filming, but I hope you will like it. Hey there, between March and April takes place the 36 days of type. It's an event where artists and designers are creating 26 letters and 10 numbers. I was a bit late because I started it in April, but I wanted to try it anyway. I did some tests in my previous sketchbook and it was finished. So what better moment to start a new sketchbook than a challenge? I sketched every type which took me a few hours and later I did some gouache tests, but I didn't like much the result. So I decided to switch to Procreate but I didn't progress much since. I think I lost my motivation because it was a bit repetitive to do every letter. I really have to finish this challenge because it's still really fun to do. I did all the sketches in a row, so I saw my pencil getting smaller and smaller as I was progressing. So I am at the letter L and my pencil is this size. I'm at the letter U and my pencil is this size. I'm finally at the end of the 36 letter and numbers and this is the size of my pencil. <laughs> it's really tiny, I can't use it anymore. And this is a new bed that I bought for my keys. And right now no one is in there, but they really like it. So usually there is always someone in there, but right now she's like uh, just here and she doesn't want to go here, so. Hey there, a quick haul because I just came back and I bought some things from my local hard supply shop. So I got some tape for my paintings and I took the empty brand because they are really high quality but it's a bit expensive as well. I took a really basic sketchbook which is great to just quickly sketch or paint. I bought some new uh, Tillman and Burns sketchbooks. I already tried the Alpha series but they didn't have any left so I bought those two. So I also bought two tiny brushes for my gouache paintings. And I bought two pencils. So these are two um, Faber Castell Polychromos. And I never have enough of them because I'm using them to sketch. So, and that's it. And I received my stickers. So this is the sticker that I will uh, put in the uh, plant sticker pack. This one is a little leaf. It's so cute. I'm really happy with the result. New day, new sticker, and I just received this one, which is super shiny. And look at this. So it's an holographic one. So he has all this. It has all these holographic reflex, which are really cool. Hey again. To start well June, I did a massive order at Jean de Beaux-Arts, which is a French reseller. My cat is obsessed by boxes and she knows that I'm giving them to her. So as I'm opening the package, she turns around it because she can't wait to have it. I ordered some product to try out screen printing. It involves three different products. I'll probably try it later in another video with you. Lately, I really wanted to give another go to inking with deep pen. So I ordered two nibs and a really beautiful pen holder to get back to it. I was using a lot of black ink in art school, but it was a long time ago. 
I also wanted to try lino print on fabric for a long time, so I ordered some speedball fabric paint, which is used by a lot of artists and supposed to be a good brand, so I can't wait to try it. It's always really useful to have some clips, and I ordered two sketchbooks from Talents Art Creation. These sketchbooks are quite difficult to find, and I don't know why, because they are one of my favorite sketchbooks of all time. I really love the format, which is really practical to bring them everywhere. And the paper is like, I love it. It's a fine texture paper with a high thickness, so it works really well with inks and any kind of markers. I don't stick to a single style, so I really love multimedia sketchbooks without texture. I'm planning to do a lot of new line on prints and displays from SD are my favorite to use so far. They are easy to curve, easy to use and easy to clean as well. Little disclaimer because I absolutely love the SD plates to carve, but their lino print inks are horrible. And last but not least, a small cutting mat for paperwork. I can't wait to try all these new techniques, I'm always really happy to try out new art things, but most of the time I'm spending months before finding the good time to do it. I hope I will be able to try everything really soon. New day, new art project! I'm currently working on the summer update of my online shop. I just received some new stickers. This time I wanted something that was a bit seasonal. So I went for a tiny shiny strawberry because it's my favorite fruit ever. And I'm super happy with how it turned out. I always really love the color printed by Sticker Mules. It's time to work together on a new product. I printed some acrylic keychain, but I didn't want to leave them alone and I love the current trend with big bids. So today we are creating some cute charms together. I find some adorable stars and earth beads with pastel colors. I also found a set of classic ones but with the same pastel color palette. And some adorable gummy beer that I want to put at the end of the charms. And all that is satisfying a lot my obsession with this specific color palette, because everything is matching. I'm using a strong elastic thread to assemble everything and make it robust. Once I decided the design, it's a quite meticulous work and I have to focus on it. It's something that I really like to do. Once I'm motivated, I put my music on and focus on my task. But to do the work is often not my favorite step, because a lot of things can go wrong while you are creating things. Stressless, an artist who has a really cool YouTube channel about his artist life and personal growth, recently talked in one of his videos about how to create projects and actually finishing them is two different things and two different skills actually. I relate a lot with this concept because I really do enjoy imagining every step of a project, prototyping things, but once I actually have to do it and to spend hours on the same project to create it, it's most of the time the most complicated part of it. At the beginning of the project you are really motivated because you just started, but after a few hours the motivation is gone and you just have to do the work. And even if I love finishing things, the in-between steps is really complicated for me. And a lot of projects stops right here. What I'm doing to avoid starting a lot of projects without finishing them is that I'm creating some routines. For example, for a long project, instead of working on it for six hours straight and then never touch it again. I'm focusing a few hours a week, so my motivation and energy stay constant through the weeks and the months of the project. If I can, I'm even dedicating a specific time in my week, so 
each week I have the space in my planning to do the project. Another technique is not to start thousands of projects at the same time. So whenever I have a new idea, I'm noting absolutely everything that crossed my mind so later I can work on it if I finished my previous project. I also try to keep my projects all the steps of my projects quite small so I don't get frustrated by a specific project. I guess that loving finishing things helps me a lot to actually finish the projects as well. So I guess it's really personal and you have to understand your own psychic to trick it. Actually, you have to trick your brain to do the work and to not let it do whatever it wants to do. <laughs> if you have some advice how to manage your motivation during a project, don't hesitate to share it in comments. I think it could help a lot of people. Get back to the tiny charms for the shop. Four different models will be available, two with art and two with stars, and every keychain will have a classic beads bracelet included. It's absolutely adorable and I love how it looks. I also added a tiny snap hook. I don't know if it's the right word in English, sorry if it's not the right one. So you can clip the key charms anywhere you need. The last days of June are a bit of a rush because I'm getting everything ready for the shop update. For this new shop update, I wanted to do something that I love, the mystery packs. There is something that I absolutely love to do, but which is not easy to put on my shop, the small Posca originals. Originals are illustrations that, as an artist, I'm just creating once. So it's not printed, it's really something that I draw or that I paint just once. So I love to do tiny Posca illustrations and listing them on the shop is really long to do and I can't put them too expensive because they are really small. So what I want to do is to create some packs of three random small originals. So I don't spend too much time on listing them on my shop and you don't pay too much to adopt them. And there is the surprise because you don't know exactly which one of them you will receive. And I don't know about you, but I really love surprises and surprise boxes and mystery packs. The tiny originals are a bit bigger than a business card format. They are based on the artist trading card format. The artist trading cards are tiny original illustrations or paintings that artists are exchanging or selling. The format is close to a small Polaroid as well, so I love using this one. I'm creating graphic and simple designs in the color palette that I love to use. I really like to create them like if it was tiny Polaroids that can be collected and that you can use as decoration. Each of them is undrawn and has a unique design. And I'm using masking tape to delimitate each design and to have crispy lines.
I try a lot of new designs each time I'm doing some tiny originals and it's always super fun to do. So my favorite of this session are the hearts, the windows and the marble patterns. Then I received the second sticker design for this shop update, a witchy holographic hat. I love them, they are so cute and so shiny, they are really huge as well. Now that I have a lot of sticker design, I think I will stick all of them on my next notebook. As always, I'm making them printed by sticker mules and I'm really happy with the result. I hope you will like them as well. Then, in order to have everything ready for the shop update, I'm also printing some lino printed thank you cards. I'm adding a little lino print card in every order to put a little thank you note. Lino print is such a cool and complicated technique. I absolutely love it because you can reuse your artwork because there are stamps over and over. But at the same time, it's such delicate and precise art. The quantity of paint, the temperature, the pressure that you are applying on the stem, the paper, everything is a parameter that can ruin your print or enhance it. And I was super rusty because I haven't done lino print in a few months and it shows. When I started it was complicated, I had trouble with the paint and the stems. I couldn't remember if the stamps that I was using had a problem before or if I was doing something wrong. Spoiler alert, a bit of both. But something that always annoys me because I hate wasting stuff is that there is a lot of trial and errors and a lot of bad prints which can't be on the shop or sent as thank you cards. So I'm still trying to find out how to recycle them. I'm not creating my own paper yet, but that could be a possibility. So if you have some ideas, I'm taking them. Even if the beginning of the print session was a bit complicated, I still managed to create a bunch of great prints that I will be able to use. And printing with Linoprint is always a great activity. So I'm really happy with this session anyway. And I think that is the end of today's seasonal art vlog. It's my first seasonal art vlog, so I think it won't be perfect, but I will improve for the next ones. I think this one was super long, so if you arrived this far, congrats, you're really awesome. Put a tiny purple art in common so I could know that you went this far. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!